Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And in this one, I want to give you a quick guide on how to get five times more monster materials every single hunt. This is without question something you should definitely be doing if you want to maximize your farming, if you want to maximize your material gain, so you can craft as many items as possible. If you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. But to begin with, this of course revolves around a evolution to the Wyvern riding system. We did a video like this back in Rise, some of you guys may remember that in order to get more materials ordinarily, you would go and you would Wyvern ride a monster. And you should be familiar with the fact that when you are Wyvern riding monsters and you attack another monster, they will drop shinies. Typically, they will drop a total of three. Keep in mind that what you want to be doing whenever you do this to maximize your rewards is you want to use a monster and you want to perform attacks and then use the evade cancel so you're not stuck in the animation. Doing so gives you more bang for your buck essentially so you don't burn through the bar but once you see three items drop typically you would then yeet the monster into the other one that'll then put that into a wyvern riding state. You then climb on the other monster and you then do the same to the reverse monster getting their materials dropped as well and if you really want to be extra you go and do that on the third monster in the map as well. That way you get three shinies from every single monster. However Sunbreak introduces the gold wirebug described as a new type of wirebug that suddenly materialized in multiple habitats and they possess powers that help hunters wirebugs recover and they make siltbind attacks more powerful. However in addition to this the gold one also increase the chances of obtaining drops when using wyvern riding attacks. You can take a look at your map whenever you load into a locale and you can see various different locations like these. If you go around and you pick one up, the golden wirebug icon will then appear above your health bar and then whenever you wyvern ride a monster you will then get the golden threads instead. Now this is important because in the process of attacking the monster this now allows you to drop up to five shinies so you get even more materials. So if you then want to maximize your material gain, your farming, you want to make sure that you load into the map and you always grab the golden wire bug. You then simply need to go and wyvern ride a monster. You then want to go and attack the other one, again making good use of the evade, especially if you're trying to get all five drops, you want to make sure that you're attacking as much as possible, so anytime you land an attack, be sure to use an evade, provided of course you have wire bugs, so you can then maximize this. Once you then see the five shinies drop, you will then yeet the monster into the other one, repeat the process in reverse, and again, if you want to, you can then go and seek out the third monster on the map to get as many materials as possible. If of course you're only farming one monster, you can just do this on your target of choice, but either way, using the golden wire bug and wyvern riding allows you to get five additional shiny drops, which is a game changer. And that my friends is pretty much it. Super quick tip, but something that is very important that you definitely do not want to be sleeping on. Sunbreak introduced some fantastic new endemic life. These are just some of them, but this is the one you need for those items. If you guys have missed any of our other recent videos, be sure to check out one of these ones, and otherwise be sure to keep it locked because we've got plenty more Sunbreak guides coming your way.